It's time to shout out another fantastic creator or author. And this one, again, harkens back to yesterday. I have been doing my Wednesday shout outs and my, my boosts for these authors that I think are telling some fantastic stories. And it was time that I shouted out some of the subscribers of the channel and the guys who joined the Gilded and people who are out there, you know, just absolutely who have been fantastic to me. And so I feel that I should return the favor. So this is part two of this one's for the homies. Yes, I'm white. Shut up. It's fine. But ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, tonight's shout out is Ural Nyanzi with The Perils of Sasha Reed, Volume 1. Now, this book is already out, and I have actually heard Rawl talk about uh, The Perils of Sasha Reed over on a, a couple different podcasts, and especially in my Gilded, when we talk about his character, how he came up with the character, and the story setting. So, going into the short little synopsis here, the kidnapping won't stop. Pit girl Sasha Reed has a problem. Every dirtbag on the planet wants to kidnap her. Her new subspace storage technology has attracted the attention of mutants, mad scientists, and the worst scum the Earth sphere has to offer. Now Sasha and her gun-toting race car dri driver boyfriend must deal with all sorts of danger in this short story series. So let's take a look inside over here. Taking a look inside, Act 1. Nothing beat the smell of tire rubber, exhaust fumes, and smoking miniguns. Here in the sunny Daytona Beach, the day of, of the national championship race had come. The Global Organization for Auto Racing, or Gafar. <laughs> I love that name, sorry. It just reminds me of Jafar. That's great. I love it. Uh, braced itself for a huge crowd of spectators. But the camera guy came bright and early. And I don't mean the TV crews. I mean the fans who came to photograph us and our fellow pit girls. I could spout some dumb spiel about how posing in a skimpy outfit and knee-high boots is all about empowering women and owning your body, but I won't. The camera guys paid good money to see me and the other girls, so we did our duty to the dark Saturn racing team and gave our patrons a good show. Our faces, our cups, our abs, our buns, our legs. We made sure their cameras got all of it, and we changed pose was poses frequently to keep things interesting. The sheer joy in the camera guy's faces, faces made the whole thing worth it. And after they were done, they thanked us for giving them the chance to admire us in person. I loved this job. <laughs> now, the one thing here that Rawl has talked about when it comes to Sasha Reed is that she is not some just a ditzy pit girl. She's not just a girl who has the body, but she also has the brains. She also has a loyal boyfriend who is willing to move heaven and earth to make sure that he finds her after the story kicks off. You see, because she has the brains and she came up with this technology, she is kidnapped. And she is kidnapped as a damsel in distress, but kind of the way that Rawl, uh, and I asked him one night, uh, when we were talking about it, one of the ways that she becomes less of a damsel in distress is because she starts off with nothing, just her and, you know, the outfit that she was wearing. And then she becomes like a damsel in distress, but with a crowbar. And she is constantly fighting her way back out of the terrible kidnapping situation while her loyal boyfriend is fighting inward into the kidnapping to try and get her back. And this is something here that I thought was an absolutely fantastic story. I think it's fun. I think it's great. I think it shows off that people can have multiple sides of their personality. I also love the dedicated relationship that they show. In the world where relationships are treated as, you know, flippantly as eating a Big Mac nowadays, it's nice to have stories out there where the men and the women actually care about each other and are willing to move heaven and earth again. I think, and it's not a relationship that's based off solely the sexual nature, but one that's based off of more of an intimate nature, something that I think has been lost in the modern day uh, storytelling that we've seen come out of Hollywood. So honestly, 
the perils of Sasha Reed, and I know that he is going for more stories with her, he wanted to give her a basic name, something that wasn't necessarily too over the top because uh, she's not, she, she's just a basic girl. She's a basic girl. She got a job. She likes her job. And you know what? Uh, she, she does the job very, very well. And all of that seems to be very, very well thought out. Uh, hearing Raul talk about this book and what he envisioned for the characters and how he came up with the characters was something that I had, uh, I have a lot of admiration for. I, I really do. Um, the way that he's thought about the world, how everything is broken down in the world, and how it's not just the world that we live in. So to you, Raul, this seems like a fantastic story. I'm sorry I haven't covered it sooner, but I don't want to seem super biased. I don't always just want to cover my subscribers because I do put it out on Twitter and there's a lot of people who have stories that are looking to get out there as well. But for those of you who are looking for a fantastic read, I would absolutely recommend The Perils of Sasha Reed. And I recommend it not because I've read it, but I recommend it because I've talked with the author and his passion is there. He is passionate about this story. He's passionate about bringing good stories to people, and he's passionate about his characters. So if you guys want to go and support passionate storytelling, passionate writers, again, make sure to go over to the Amazon, The Perils of Sasha Reed, or go down in the link in the description below and click there to go support Raul Nyanzi. So thank you all so much for checking out this video. I do hope that you guys like it. And never forget, I do a very special live stream every Sunday for all of you who come and comment on the channel. I feel that if you guys are here commenting on the channel, it's only fair of me to dedicate that much time to you where I go and I read all of your comments and I give you guys my thoughts and you know my answers to what you're saying. That's one of the ways that you guys can hold me accountable for the things that I say, especially if I say some dumb stuff or I don't fully explain a point of mine. So join me on Sundays at 11 a.m. Central for Sunday Coffee because, hey, I'm going to be reading your comments and it'd be really cool to have you over in the chat there as well because maybe I read your comments and maybe I say, hey, man, this wasn't well thought out. And you go, uh-uh, no, this is what I meant. You're reading it wrong. And you can correct me live on the fly. Also, I'd love to see everybody here for the live stream on Friday nights called Iron Age Nights, where we bring on new authors, new creators, and just new storytellers who are doing their best to build again, to build a culture of fantastic storytelling again, that has a lot of the classic things that we all fell in love with in storytelling. So join us here with myself and my two co-hosts, Richard from IronAge.media and Mr. Daniel P. Riley from Whimsyland.org as we talk to these authors and try to do our best to spread the word of fantastic storytelling again. And that is 8 p.m. Central on Friday nights. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.